Oh my gosh, it was me. What? The little crab. Oh. Little. I often like move my hands you do that like when they're you're pinches. excited. I do, <laughs> and I don't know why. It's my All right, it's time to save Lily on this exciting episode of Psychonauts. Psychonauts. No, save her not. from the lake monster. Away! <laughs> Meanwhile, he's like, um, yeah, about that, I can't swim. <laughs> to the bathosphere! Away! <laughs> You're on your own, Lily. Good luck. <laughs> Pursue and defeat the lungfish. That's what the lake monster the is. The lungfish. A giant lungfish. Oops, I missed. Oops, I missed again. Careful. Oh, I missed. <laughs> In the Mario parties, everyone has like these weird slogans when they like to do good. They'll go like, woohoo, or I'm a the best. <laughs> Wario, when he screws up, he goes, oh, I missed. <laughs> it's very funny. Um, I love that like Warluigi, Waluigi. Waluigi, yep. Is the only one that I can win with. In uh, Mario Kart. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, did I say Mario Kart? I meant Mario Party. I think you did say Mario Party, and my brain just said no, Mario Kart. Mario Party is something I want us to play one of these days. I okay. think it would just be very fun. It, it's just goofy, wacky shenanigans all around. Okay. And it would have to be like... A, uh, it would probably consist of like two or three recordings, but I'd edit it all into one video. Yeah. But I think it would be a nice first experience for you to experience Mario Party. <laughs> Don't steal my star or I'll stab you. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, you can steal stars. Can you stab people? No. Oh. I got that from, honestly, and I, I mean, this is a really old reference to people of the internet, but there was this website called Newgrounds. Okay. And there was like flash animations and like parodies for like movies and video games. And for some reason, I remember this particular Christmas short with Mario and Luigi, and Luigi goes, Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. And then Mario chimes in, Oh, what fun it is to ride in a white horse. And Luigi just turns around and goes, Shut up before I stab you. Ah. Dashing through the snow in a one horse open sleigh. And Mario's shuddering in the corner because <laughs> he's traumatized. And for some reason, every time I think of, I'm going to stab you. That's what I think of. Hmm. Shut up before I stab you. Another video I think of, this one was on YouTube for a while, is these people uh, arguing about her sister, the Wicked Witch of the East, bruh. You're going to tell me that I'm wrong? I don't know if you ever saw it. No. But the dude's like, I'm going to stab him. And I'm just like, ha ha. And then he like whips out the knife and then the video cuts and I'm just like, oh, we just skipped some levels. <laughs> well. I'll have to show you both videos after this recording. But yeah. The one I think is going to be really hard to find because it was way back in like 2007. So maybe the Mario one's still around. Okay. As for um, the argument of like the Wizard of Oz, I think I can find that one. <laughs> I love trying to find old videos. There was one, I probably watched it like a thousand times because I just thought it was so funny mm. at the time. And it's these two kids and the one kid like goes, yeah, and then he just runs and like jumps directly at the wall. And he, he mm. like, like arms out, legs out, like f face plants the wall. And just the sound it makes is so funny. And he like sticks there for a second. Oh, wow, okay. Before he slides down the wall. <laughs> And like, it was a dare or something. Like mm -hmm. everyone was okay, but I just thought it was so funny at the time. That was like early 2000s. <laughs> so, so here we are at the bottom of the lake. There's this nice little air bubble so we can actually explore the bottom of the lake without having to swim. Uh, and you had a fish stuck on your No swimming mechanics. Well, there's these some enemies that like, if you approach and press the talk button, he'll be like, oh, this poor thing. It can't breathe. I should kill it. Ah! <laughs> So this area reminds me of the creature from the Black Lagoon. Have you ever seen that movie? I've seen parts of it, but I've never seen the whole thing. Honestly, it is like one of the famous universal monsters. Oh, yeah. But it is the one that's least 
utilized. So you're always going to see new interpretations of Dracula, Frankenstein, yeah. the mummy, even the invisible man. But the creature from the Black Lagoon, they really don't touch that much in regards to like remakes or reimaginings or revisits. This must be where he brought I wonder if it's because shark movies kind of took that whole sea monster it horror genre. It definitely could have. Jaws kind of set the bar. Because like shark movies is a whole subgenre. Yeah. Like there's Sharktopus, there's Mega Shark versus Giant Octopus. Well, I mean, Sharknados. Even those, those are like bad. Yeah. But there are like genuinely good shark movies where they've like put a lot of time and effort into making them. Other than Jaws, which ones come to mind? Um, it, isn't it like. 30 feet below or, or like something. Oh, like 47 meters down? Yeah. Okay. That one yeah. is sharks. Open um, water. Yeah, that one is sharks. Has sharks. It's mostly about being stranded in an ocean. Be just being left behind. Yeah. But I mean, like, what is really, realistically, what is the number one fear, fear of, like, being left behind in the ocean? Either drowning or getting eaten by sharks. Sharks. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no one's afraid of an octopus. It, it, they should be. Octopies are mean. Oh, they come after people? I know yeah. they I know no, they're, they're bitch they're, slap they're, fish. Yeah, they more or less stay on the bottom. They're just not mean, they're just very smart. They do they they punch fish out of spite. <laughs> Which I just think is hilarious. That is a beautiful fact. Dang it. Aw oh, man. I'm trying to make it to the top. Because if I ring the bell, I summon the creature. There was one thing that I was reading that was like, this um, aquarium just kept losing tropical fish. Like they couldn't uh, yeah. find where they were going. And then, so they set up a camera and it turns out the octopus was like getting out of its enclosure at night, mm -hmm. going over to the other enclosures and eating the fish. <laughs> yeah. That's crazy. Here it comes. Big old linf lungfish, sorry. The giant lungfish of uh, Whispering Rock. Okay, cop up the girl and no one gets hurt, fish. Man, if he like actually coughed her up. <laughs> well, then we'd swim to the surface. <laughs> cool, thanks. Toodles! All right, so we're having a boss battle with this giant sea monster. So what we're gonna do is when he inhales, <clears throat> excuse me, we're going to smash open that crate of nails. Okay. Yep, and the nails are gonna stab him. Oops, but you don't wanna leave the air bubble. Oh my gosh, it was me. What? The little crab. Oh, uh, little. I often like move my hands you do that like when they're you're pinches. excited. I do, <laughs> and I don't know why. It's my happy dance. Okay. So we're gonna hit him with the nails. And after two strikes, it's turning into a chase sequence. So he's going to move the bubble and we have to move with the bubble. So that, cause he's gonna try to like get us outside the bubble so we drown. Okay. So it's one of those on rails chase sequences. Gotcha. And you'll have a couple of these to break off, break up the boss battle. And uh, the camera is from the perspective of the sea monster. So, so that's I'm technically get the monster's perspective. Um, they have horrible peripherals. <laughs> it's like driving in a PT cruiser. It feels a little awkward at first, but you get used to it. Do you remember when PT cruisers were like the new cool car? Not really, no. Oh. I remember hearing about them, but I didn't know they were the new cool car. Well, it was, like, how everyone right now drives, like, a Chevy Sonic. Yeah. Because they, like, pushed them pretty hard. Mm-hmm. The PT Cruiser was very similar. Okay. Where, like, dealerships just really wanted to push out the I PT I remember, Cruiser. like, just SUVs in general were very popular yeah. in the, like, mid-2000s. I remember that kick. My mom had a PT Cruiser. And whenever I was learning how to drive, that was one of the cars I had to drive in. And it had horrible turning radius. Oh, wow. Like, 
Do you see those like creepy hands waiting for us? I do. It's those hands that Come would on. <clears throat> grab you when you hit the water. Come a little closer. Come little children, <laughs> I'll take thee away. <laughs> Into the depths of my love. Ooh, nice, nice. Very good, very good. Also, as you can see the bubble move, the fish just flop to the ground. <laughs> <laughs> you see them go flop. They're like, God damn it, I hate this thing. <laughs> <laughs> well, shit. Alright, he's like, this is a good spot to kill you. So now he's gonna come back in. He'll spit out the stuff first, which enlarges the bubble. Okay. And then when he inhales, it's gonna shrink the bubble. And what you gotta do to get him to stop inhaling is just smack these nails. That's a one. And here's a two. Kinda like the face he makes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is there three? I guess three. Three is the number thou shalt count, and the number we need shall be three. One. Three. Will not be one, neither shall it be two. Five is right out. <laughs> <laughs> oh. There it is. <gasps> bring in the dancing lobsters! Yeah. Alright, bring in the dancing lobsters. Judge Trudy here. And we're back. I very much enjoy that show from a nostalgic point of view, but I could not rewatch it. Yeah. It was so painful to try and rewatch. <laughs> it, it was a kind of humor that I was just like, yeah, I've outgrown this. Yeah, same. There was a time when I was just like, this is comedic gold. No longer that time. We, that we had something similar when we rewatched uh, Drake and Josh. Like, yeah. Josh was still really funny. Yeah. But everything else was kind of like, eh. Well, it's funny Oops, how, it, like, too far. how it flip-flops, because I remember watching it the first time thinking that Josh was, like, really annoying and, like, no, needed to, like, calm Josh down a little bit. As hell. And that Drake was, like, the cool guy. And re-watching it, I was like, Drake is going to end up in jail. <laughs> but Josh was still, like, really relatable and very funny. Mm -hmm. Josh reminds me a lot of Phil. <laughs> yes. <laughs> like, so much I can so. see it. Especially growing up, like, the the feel of the now is a lot more toned down. I, like, he can still reach those moments. I feel like Philip would have loved Oprah. <laughs> uh, and we can say that because I promise you this is one of the few playthroughs that Phil will never watch. Does <laughs> he not like the game? Ah, uh, he's not really a platformer guy. Gotcha. He likes his shooters, he likes his like adventure games and like some of his RPGs. Um Oh my goodness. He likes survival horror. Damn it. Alright. Luckily it's very forgiving and where it takes you back. I don't know why. I never would have pegged him as like a uh, shooter. James Bond, he loves James uh, Bond. Oh, James Bond, yeah. So like anything with like spies, because like one of his favorite video game franchises is Metal Gear Solid which I've never played a single game in that franchise. I know some of those words. <laughs> um, it's uh, a, comp a game made by Konami, who also made Son of a Bitch. Made Castlevania. The camera keeps shifting at this point, and I don't like it, because I'm trying to avoid the edges of the bubble. Whee! But, um, yeah, it's a tactical espionage stealth game. Okay. And, like, it has some, like funny moments and like really cool inventive gameplay mechanics but like i've i always found it like just way too intimidating okay but one day i would like to try one of the games because it's so near and dear to his heart another one of his favorites is devil may cry uh that's more of a slasher kind of like okay. adventure game whereas another shooter that he really really enjoys is doom 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 yeah Doom's the shit. Well, well, Doom is the OG. Yeah, I believe it is. Either Doom or Wolfenstein. I forget which came first. It was in that documentary we watched when yeah. we first started dating. Where I fell asleep and had to watch it later. All right, so anyways, about the boss at hand. Uh, we got to get his antenna 
to get trapped in, come on dude, just swing, no, just swing into the clam and we get it trapped. My brain just went to two very different places. Go on. The first thought I had was like, dang, Fish has never been to a strip joint. And then the second one was like, or a metal concert. <laughs> <laughs> the one sounds like more your sense of humor. The other one, I don't know where it came from. <laughs> but hey, it works. We're here now. All right, I don't know why that wasn't working. Cause like, you just gotta like lure him here and he swings and then it snaps on him and then you can hit him. For some reason, I was, maybe I just wasn't in the right spot. And he was just like, aha, I got you now. I whip my hair back and forth, I whip my hair back and forth. <laughs> come on, come on, there we go. See, now that I've embarrassed myself, I defeat him without taking a single notch of damage. Isn't it fun how life works? Oh, poor little thing. That poor little thing just tried to kill me about eight different ways. Well, that's not its fault. This was once just a normal sized lungfish. Minding its own business in a mucus line. I wonder what a lungfish looks like. Is it an actual fish? I don't know. Let's Google it. Work yeah. Done, I suspect Mori has mutated it. Because guess what? Its growth, and its We're going to into the fish's mind. To make it do his because it was experimented bidding. on. Whoa. Poor little thing. We're gonna see if yeah, we can get some information. Go there and try to smash the implant. Use the psycho portal. Looks nothing I like it. Steal from Sasha's lab. It's oh, uh, taking yeah. some liberties. That works on big scary Why didn't monsters? they just call it an anglerfish? Oh, monster, monster. That thing's more well, it's we got have, the mouth and like the whole. We had similar qualms about the um, dragons. What dragons? I don't think it was this game. I think it was in um, the last story. Oh, the worms. yeah. I remember that because like in Japan, they're gargoyles. But this is an American made game. Yeah. So we can't use that excuse. Well, like, a lungfish looks more like an eel. Yeah, it does. It's very eel-like. And it has kind of like these oh, long Oh, by the way, real quick, what tentacles. do you think the level is inside the lungfish's mind, if you were to guess? I'm going to say a field of flowers. Field of flowers. That's going to be the aesthetic, all right? Let's see what the level is. I'm going to give you a little preview of the level, and then in the next episode, we're going to... Experience the level. Oh, mm -hmm. I'm curious. So it's not a field of flowers. Oh, it's like a full on city. Yeah. Welcome to Lungfishopolis. Ah. Once a peaceful town until. Darkness struck. Ah, top of the morning to you, ma'am. And good day to you, Officer of Lungfish. How are you today? Oh, I damp Irish. and happy can be seen. <laughs> and what are you and the wee one up to on this lovely day? Oh, just obeying the law as always. All posted directives followed to the letter. Ah, good to hear. Not a one of us want any trouble, that's for sure. <laughs> ah! oh, so we get to be a kaiju. Yes. We are Gogalore. <laughs> Up from the depths, 30 stories high, breathing fire, his head in the sky, Godzilla, 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 and Godzuki. <laughs> oh my god. That was a fucking Hanna-Barbera Godzilla cartoon. I was just like, yes. Godzilla, and then just yes! Like, Godzilla! And, then, Ooh, and Godzuki ruined. <laughs> Japan went, fucking god damn it! <laughs> Every time. Americans can't get anything right. Every time. Every time. Fire breathing lizard. And they're like, no, we have to put something cute. Yep. Though I will say, as horrible as the, um,. American Godzilla with... I almost said Brendan Fraser. Oh my god, what is his name? Matt LeBlanc. No, not Matt LeBlanc. Fuck! Don't ask me. I don't know. <laughs> Matthew Broderick! Holy fucking tits! Yeah, Matthew Broderick. The Godzilla movie with Matthew Broderick. As horrible that as is. that movie is... <laughs> producers. Ferris Bueller's about? Day Off. 
Inspector Gadget. Oh, okay. Consider this a divorce. No. <laughs> what I'm trying to say is, as horrible as that movie was, it had a hell of a TV show. He's dead. Oh, geez, I'm sorry. Okay. Don't worry. Every member of the resistance is prepared to I die. I don't remember that one. What's Cochera? I, I haven't He's seen all of the Godzilla. Like you, so I know we it's have fair. the we have criterion. The, yeah, the criterion of like the first so, set. Hey, yeah. Have you seen any other humans around here? I think everything I'm up until the eighties. Yeah, I think you're right. Some information about your young girlfriend, Gogolor. Yeah, All right, so we have to get information so that we can take on Kochamra. I only meant that she is your friend who was a girl, Gogolor. We're leading the resistance against the people of Lungfishopolis. The broadcast tower Kochamra uses to control the populace. Girlfriend. No, I only meant a friend. I only meant she is a she is a friend who she is your friend who is a girl, Gogolor. But you'll never make it through the laser. Well, I mean, I wouldn't say that she is my girlfriend. First, I need you to do something for the resistance. Is she a girl? Yes. Is she a friend? Yes. There you go. <laughs> Alrighty, let's, let's break go. out the resistance. Freedom, freedom. I don't think I'll ever forget one of my friends in high school who is a gay woman. Okay. We stole the shield power Before she like came out. Um, when she first met my grandma, mm -hmm. my grandma was like, Oh, is this your girlfriend? <laughs> and she almost had a panic attack. <laughs> oh. And I was like, uh oh. Uh, sorry, my grandma's from the 30s, and she just met a female friend. <laughs> They're on to me. <laughs> yeah, she was like, oh my god. Okay, so we just got a new power-up, Barrier. Now we can use our psychic abilities to form a shield around us. I love this. <laughs> so, knocking down the prison and then breaking this laser shield thing? Nobody's gonna get mad about that and start shooting at me. No! No. Uh, maybe one. <laughs> but what is even an entire They look like chicken nuggets. The ah. zeal of chicken nuggies. Wait. No, what? just the resistance just of Lungfishopolis. For freedom. For freedom. All right, in the next episode, we're going to save the citizens of Lungfishopolis against Coach Amara. Freedom. Toodles.